Hello guys, uh, this is Matthew from Europe with the European NCL. I'm going to do a quick tour um, in my lab to make sure everybody understands where the thermocouples are located, but not only how the lab is set up, how temperature is uh, managed, um, and etc. So I think it's going to be very valuable for everybody to understand the environment of the cell. So let's start. So here we are. That's a corridor. Here we have three rooms. Uh, the first room where I'm basically making the setup. The second room where I have the cell actually running the last calibration file with the gas mixture and the 3.5 bars. Um, here is my desk. Very messy. I had to do some uh, survival uh, insulation because it's very cold. Actually, today it was snowing here in south of France. I'm sure you can recognize this. Um, uh, so that's the cell. Um, I'll set on the table a white table with um, with the aluminum um, under it. Um, nothing around it uh, in the environment. Um, very close to it. Um, here is the power supply. That's the second power supply I will use very soon to run the active wire. Here I have what I call manifold because here I have a vacuum um, pulled out from here. Here I have uh, argon or helium injected inside the cell. Here I have a vent which I basically don't use only when I have to open the, the chamber to change the wire. Here it's a needle valve. Here it's a relief valve. That's the vacuum gauge we have here. Then we have um, one, two, three, and four thermocouples. Um, that's T mica and that's T in. Then I have T out and T uh, well. T well actually doesn't work. I know I have to change it now, Ryan, but. Um, it's not that I'm lazy, you know it. Um, here I have the the helium uh, gas tank. It's a 4.5, so it's 99.95 percent of pure helium. Only supposedly 5 ppm of oxygen inside. So uh, here it's the argon, exactly the same uh, characteristics. Um, here I have a vacuum pump, so it's not a race type vacuum pump, but it's nice because it's oil free. It doesn't pull a really deep vacuum, it goes down to something like a 3 tall, which is a 4 millibar. I can actually flush down the atmosphere inside the cell to make sure that I have only the gas I want. The flush is very simple. I pull a um, vacuum from this end, then I inject the gas I'm going to use next. I increase the pressure inside up to something like 1 or 2 bars. It doesn't matter so much. And then I pull down again this uh, gas back into the vacuum pump. This way I'm sure that I diluted as much as possible the, the remaining gas that was from the previous run out of my cell, replacing it with the new gas I'm going to use. For example, when I use a, a mixture of 75% of hydrogen, I flush it with hydrogen. And then I do the, um, 
the gas mixture. Here I have T ambient, so not in a direct view of the cell, as you can see, just below the table um, with some foam around. That's the wall that is uh, on the outside, that's why, why I brought this. So that's my heat sink. I'm supposed to have 20 degrees plus minus 1, it's quite difficult now, but I have something like 16.6, .6. so that's my heat sink. Here I have uh, 20 degrees on the walls, pretty much. That's another, on the other side of the glass, that's another um, wall that is in contact with the air outside. So, you see, I hope you like the, the tour, guys. Um, so that's pretty much, oh yeah, that's one thing I forgot to tell you. Here I have uh, the thermocouple inside the cell. So, uh, here I have T out. T out doesn't use uh, thermal resistant tape uh, the same way that Chelani was using uh, for his previous experiments because we made some infrared um, camera pictures. The tape uh, holds and accumulates heat uh, from the tube. So I decided to use the elastic properties of um, the um, stainless steel coating the thermal couple to actually make it touch the glass but without making it um, stuck on, into a tape or whatever. Uh, you can see on the on the other side there is the thermal couple that uh, reads uh, T in, T glass in, and on the screw you have T mica. So I think it's pretty much it. I hope you liked it and uh, feel free to give me some uh, some of your input.